Now we have seen a Sahil Linux aka Arch Linux running on M1 Mac, bare metal and it seems like Fedora Linux is following in the same footsteps as Asahi. This is Fedora Linux running on an M1 Mac. It's not officially supported by the Fedora team, but a Maverick developer at GitHub made a script using the core components of Asahi Linux like M1, N1 bootloader and other scripts which indeed made it possible to run Fedora on M1 Mac bare metal. Now anyway, first off, let's head over to the GitHub page. Now as you can see, this is a script that helps build minimal Fedora images to run on Apple, MVN or M2 systems. The installation of Fedora Linux is the same as Asahi Linux. Just go ahead and copy this line of code and paste it inside a terminal and follow the on-screen instructions. Now at present, this script allows the installation of the minimal version of Fedora. Now once you have done installing Fedora Linux on your Apple Silicon Mac, it should boot into CLI mode. Now let's go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi using IWCTL. Now just type IWCTL to enter into IWD mode. Then type the device list to see the network interfaces. Now you can see the wireless interface. Just note down the name. Then connect to Wi-Fi by typing this command. Now just say station, the interface name, connect and a Wi-Fi name. Then press the enter key and type your Wi-Fi password to connect to the internet. Now once it's done, exit from the IWD mode. Then run the ping command to check the status of the internet connection. Now let me go ahead and add this line to the DNF source list which makes the DNF faster. Then update the Fedora system by running this command. Once it's done, it's time to set up a GNOME desktop environment. To do so, type this command to install GNOME shell and GNOME applications. Now this may take some time, so sit back and grab some drinks. Once it's done, enable the GNOME desktop environment by typing this command. Then type StartX to enter into GUI mode. And voila, as you can see, Fedora Linux with GNOME desktop running on M1 Mac bare metal. It's always a good practice to restart the system after setting up a desktop environment to affect the changes. Now speaking about performance, thanks to the powerful M1 chip, the 8-core CPU takes care of everything. The entire user experience seems to be a freaking fast. I feel like Linux is as close as Mac OS when it comes to multitasking and app launching. Now just take a look at the speed of app launching. For some reason, you don't see any fancy animations or transitions of the GNOME desktop 
which is kind of bummer. Now, just like Asahi Linux, the GPU-based acceleration is not working to take an advantage of MVEN GPU. Now, one of the main issues with Fedora at this moment is the brightness. There is no way of decreasing the intensity of the display. It either stays at 100% or it completely goes dark, which is unbearable. We know that the built-in speakers and 3.5 headphone jack in Asahi Linux are disabled. It's the same case with Fedora. There is no way of making it work, which means you have to watch a YouTube video without any sound. I guess the entire sound system is blocked at the kernel level for a good reason. I also had a bad experience with my OnePlus Buds, which were working very well with Asahi Linux. Unfortunately, Fedora Linux fails to communicate with wireless earbuds, which is a big disappointment. And the last and final annoying thing about Fedora is the battery. It has a serious battery draining issues just like Asahi, maybe because the poor optimization puts a lot of pressure on the battery, making it drain faster. I also noticed the backside of the MacBook gets warm. Now overall, I would say Fedora Linux is an interesting project for Apple Silicon Mac and uses the core components of Asahi, which brings a pure open source experience. It's the one and only Linux distribution that offers a vanilla experience of GNOME desktop. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is an experimental project and cannot be used as a daily driver. Now, if you still want to install Fedora on your M1 Mac, I would not recommend trying it on your production machine. Go ahead, try it on your spare Mac if you have. Now, anyway, follow my Asahi Linux installation video to set up Fedora on M1 Mac. It's just the same as the Asahi installation. You need to paste the Fedora script inside the terminal and the rest of the instructions are quite similar. Now make sure you allocate the storage space of 60 GB or higher for Fedora Linux, otherwise you may run into a serious boot loop. Also keep in mind, Fedora cannot boot with macOS Ventura firmware. I tried setting up a dual boot with macOS Monterey, it worked very well without any issues. Now that being said, it's time to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, this has been KSK Ryle, I will see you at my next one.